now I'm going to explain to you a new way of reading music from what we've been learning. So far we've kind of looked at using colours for different notes and now we've got a way of indicating how rhythms work. But there's a, there's a type of music called tablature, or tab for short, which is really just for guitars. And it's, a, it's quite a cool way of being able to read music. So a, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what we have here is a picture of a guitar neck. And what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it so it's upside down. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a diagram over the top of what you can see. So what we're doing is just highlighting all the strings here, all six of our strings, as they appear, but as a guitar upside down, basically, as you look at it, I'm just framing it in a little box there. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to label the strings. So if you can remember, I know it's quite hard to see at the moment, but it's going to get clearer in, in a minute. So I'm just putting all the string letter names in next to the strings, and it looks like this. Okay, so excuse my terrible writing. What we've got there is a diagram of a guitar with string names next to it. And then what we would do is we'd write down numbers on top of a given string to indicate which fret on that string we're going to play. So at the minute I'm writing on the low E string, I'm putting a bunch of random numbers down. Don't try and play this by the way, this is not a tune. If I write a zero, it means to just play no frets, just open string. And what we're doing, if this was a tune, is we'd be reading it from left to right, like you would a book. And you just play one note at a time, looking at what string it's on, what fret's indicated, and you just follow it along left to right, and that's how you read tab.